Hello, hello, beautiful people. I'm Charm. Welcome back to my channel. And today, let's talk books. Specifically, books by Black authors that have Black leads, Black male, Black female, um, all Black everything. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. So the first and foremost, and let me start off by saying like, this is not in any particular order of favorite versus non-favorite. Everything that I'm recommending today is something that I've either rated five stars or four stars. I've absolutely loved it. And it's something that I would read again. So first and foremost, Snowflake by Nia Forrester. Now this is one of my all-time favorites, like probably in my top two. I just love it so much. It follows the characters called Kaleem and Aisha. They are both, I believe, either juniors or seniors at Penn State University, and they are neighbors. They stay in the apartments on campus, and it is about to be Christmas break, and they get snowed into a blizzard. And so this just follows what that looks like for them is kind of like one of those close proximity romance where they get to know one another just from being in such a close space together and it has such depth one thing I love about Nia Forrester like literally I can probably recommend not all of her books like mainly all of them because she is so good with character development she is really good when it comes to really diving into the personality of the characters and she always says like she doesn't necessarily write a beginning and an end she just goes into the middle of the life of these people and write about it from this perspective and she has like a wide range of books and she says awesome and so then that leads me to the next book which I read many many years ago probably in elementary school and it still holds up today like I got back into reading in a probably like 2019 and this book got me back into it it is Jason and Kira by Dana Davidson. It's probably Kyra. I'm going to call her Kira because that's what I've always called her. So I love this book as well. Um, as you can see by the title, it follows high school aged Jason and Kira. You have the popular like jock i don't remember if he plays like basketball or what i believe he plays basketball and you have kira who's not as popular but she is smart and they are kind of put in close proximity too like they have to do this work assignment together and it kind of follows like their relationship as they grow and learn more about one another and there is more to Jason than Kira had imagined like he's not just your regular like jock type situation it's a lot more depth to him and he's not like rude or mean as people would think that he is and so I just think that it's really beautiful and it does a really good job so that's my second recommendation and so now we are back to Nia Forrester. There are two books that I love. One is called Silent Nights by her and the other one is called The Darkest Morning. And so Silent Nights, all of her books you can kind of read as a standalone. This one, she's actually a character like in Jason and Kira's story. Not Jason and Kira, she's actually a character in like Kaleem and Aisha's world so to speak so there is a complete series it's called the afterward series and i'll link everything in the description below of like every book that i've mentioned so it's called the afterward series with um kaleem and asia in that book and these two characters i forget their names i think it is summer and Lloyd, if I'm not mistaken, they are students that also went to Penn State and are kind of like in the same circle as Kaleem and Aisha. And it's kind of close proximity as well. Like, um, what's her name? Summer tried to get everybody together. She was like the person who put together all of the school events and wanted to get everybody together for another group of characters like wedding. And so she didn't want to go alone. 
And she ended up going with Lloyd and it just kind of follows their relationship where they have to share this room. Um, it's beautiful, y'all. That, that's all I can say. So that's my next recommendation. And the characters that I was mentioning from Silent Night is in this book, Rhyme and Reason by Nia Forrester. Their names are Zora and Deuce. Like, I'll have to do a completely different video on the whole Afterward series, but before you read this book, you have to read Young, Black, and Rich. Um, I enjoyed that book as well, just not as much as this one. I would read it first just so you can get the backstory and understand. And again, I'll link that down in the description below. But Zora and Deuce are really close friends with Aisha and Colleen. And this is like a second chance romance. I don't want to reveal too much because I don't want to ruin the first book for you. But it's a great read. And so next, and I know I'm going really fast. I'm trying not to make this video too long. But next, okay, y'all. This is one of my all time favorite favorite it's a whole series okay it's a book series it is on kindle unlimited because you cannot buy it like the author has it on her own website she doesn't sell it on amazon but you can find like the kindle version to read on amazon it is the honest series by nia i mean by nina okay let me just show y'all this is on us. It is three thick. Okay. This is three thick books. Baby, let me tell you. I read these things. Okay. I probably read I probably read this whole series in like a week. I I I like consumed it. I I dove it. These are so 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 good. I'll get into it in just a second. Like this baby. This series is going to have it's on video for me to really give a full review, but I'm gonna give y'all a little bit just so you can have an idea. But hands down, out of everything, like Snowflake is number, it's up there. These are, are number one and two. I love Snowflake. I can read it at any time and it's good, like still, even if I read it every year. This right here, y'all, on us. So about this book. So it follows these five brothers. I won't get into their names, but the oldest brother, his name is Lake Porter. And they are like, the Porter Boys, and it really just like follows their life and the women that are also a part of their life. And it follows them from the time that they are like, I believe high school until they really grow into these, well, I'll call them outstanding citizens. Now this one, it, let me see. It's not a Christian book. I'm gonna just put it like that. Um, it is. It's, it's not necessarily a Christian fiction situation, but give it a chance. <laughs> give it a chance. It's good. If, if you don't like um, vulgar, I wouldn't recommend it. But y'all, it is so good. Like it's it's cinematic. It needs to be a movie, but they would have to cast it just right. But anyway, I'll get back into it. So with on us. The very first book is called French Reporter, and I would recommend that you read that one first um, and then read On Us 1, 2, and 3. And after that one, there's a book about their dad. Now, there are a lot of trigger warnings in that book. You know, um, it follows them. Their dad had already passed. I believe the oldest was 16 when he passed away, and I, I won't share too much. She'll give those trigger warnings in the beginning of the book. And his name is Hassan. Um, unfortunately, I can do a review on this book, but this is not a book that you would find on Kindle or that she's selling again. She sold it one time and thankfully she opened it up again, but she sold it once and will not be releasing it again. But it, it pretty much is already talked about in On Us and in Front Street Porter, but this is just a more in-depth, like from their dad's perspective, that gives a little more understanding of the dynamic of their mom's relationships with their dad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it gets a little wrong to y'all. Like all of them have different moms, I think, except two of the brothers. And then after all of those books, the last book in the series is called Clearwater. 
Um, I cannot share too much about this book without giving away some things, but this is the last book in the series. Um, and they have a friend, his name is Daly. And so I'll say that this book is about him and the woman that he meets, his main characters. And so it is really, really good. You all should read it. I, the comedy is out of this world, like so funny. I think that's probably one of the reasons that I loved it so much. I will say you have to give it a chance because it's a lot of toxic situations and things in those books, but it'll keep you on edge. Okay. And so the next book that I will talk about, I know I have a lot of books y'all, but, and, and I could, do another list and another video, but there are just so many great books by black authors, so many different genres. And you know, y'all can let me know what you're interested in and I'll share it. But this is all kind of like, not just black romance, but it follows the full life, but all, all black main characters. So the next book that I like to recommend is called Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. Now, excuse me. Christina C. Jones, she is a good author as well. Um, this book was very funny to me too, which is why I loved it so much. I love a good rom-com that's not too cliche. So this follows um, Jason and Reese. So Reese is a TA. I think she's already graduated from college. And so she's working at the school now on her graduate degree. And she's a teaching assistant for one of her courses. And Jason is a non-traditional student who has written this paper that Reese absolutely loved. And she didn't know who wrote it. And it turns out that Jason wrote it. And their first meeting was terrible, so to speak. She hated him. She could not stand him. And this is like an enemies to lovers trope. And it's funny. I recommend it. It was super cute. Um, and, it, and it was great. And this also has a series. The other two books follow his brothers and relationships with certain women in their lives. But again, Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. Super good. Recommend it. I like that one. And the last book I'm going to recommend is Saving Sunflower by Rayleigh's. This one also has a series. I haven't read it in a while, but I enjoyed it. I recommend it. Again, all black characters. Um, so this follows Dominic and Claudette, who is also known as Chloe. They are in Atlanta, Georgia, and he is like this very chill we'll call it um kind of like a tortured musician um and he's an upcoming rapper and claudette just started college i forget exactly like where she went to college and they meet at a waffle house because <laughs> she works at this waffle house and and he has a close friend and it just kind of follows their relationship this has a lot of depth as well i think i like it because both of them have very relaxed personalities and Ray Lee, she is a social worker. So a lot of times in her books, they are fictional, but she looks at it from all of these different types of perspectives when it comes to children and their parents. And it just, you know, follows their life. This is a slow burn though. I say it takes a build up, but I'll recommend it. And that's all I have to recommend for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more book reviews, for more book recommendations, all the things and, and everything else that'll be on my channel. And again, until next time.